So we're going to start with half a cup of softened butter and we're going to beat lightly till it's fluffy. So our butter is fully beaten. We're going to add one and a half cups of sugar and we're going to beat it. So while we're beating, we're going to add five eggs but one at a time. Better. So we're going to continue to beat for 5 minutes. Okay, so in another bowl, we're going to add 4 cups of flour, which I've already added. Uh, 1 teaspoon of baking powder. 2 tablespoon, two teaspoons of baking soda. And 1 and a half teaspoons of salt. We're just going to... Just stick all together. And we're going to set this aside because we're going to use it in the stand mixer. Uh, in another bowl, we're going to mix one and a half cups of cocoa powder. One and a half tablespoons of coffee powder. We're going to add one and a half cups of hot water and one and a half cups of hot milk. Or well, one and a half cups of hot milk and one and a half cups of hot water. And we're just going to whisk this together. Okay, so to our batter, we're going to add the two spoons at a time of the flour and of our cocoa mix. And we're going to keep mixing till all the batter is finished. The last of the mix, uh, the wet and dry mix. So I'm just gonna mix it up fully and then we're gonna take it out. Okay, so our batter is completely mixed. Uh, this step requires two tins, but if you don't have two tins, you can do half once and the other half when the first one's done. So this is going to go into the freezer 180 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. After 45 minutes you can just check with a toothpick through the center. If it comes out clean then it's done. You can take it out and then bake the next one. So I'm going to put it in the oven and then we'll come back. Okay so while we're waiting for cake to bake we're just going to make a simple syrup. This we're going to pour over the cake to make the cake nice and moist. We're going to start off with half a cup of water to half a cup of sugar. I'm just going to bring it to the boil and when all the sugar is dissolved, we're going to take it out, leave it to completely cool down before we can add it to our cake. You can see our syrup has completely boiled up and all the sugar has dissolved. So we're just going to put it off and take it off the stove to cool down and then we're going to use it later to moisten the cake. Okay, we're going to start making our icing. To a bowl, we're going to add four flakes. Um, there are 165 grams, I think. Oh, 32 grams. Um, yeah, they're 32 grams each. And we're going to add it to... 
150 ml of heavy cream okay so i'm just gonna microwave it for like a minute uh, or a minute and a half till it's melted fully and then we're gonna start with our cream okay so we've got 250 ml of whooping cream and we're gonna add half a cup of icing sugar and we're gonna whip this until the cream becomes thick Okay, so it's just starting to thicken. We're gonna add in our chocolate ganache that we made with the flake and heavy cream. Uh, probably like two or three spoons at a time. So our frosting is ready. See, it's nice and thick. So I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for a few minutes to cool down. Uh, as our cake is almost done okay to another bowl I'm just gonna add about 200 ml of whopping cream and two tablespoons of icing sugar so this is optional uh, I'm actually gonna use it to write some text on the cake because it's my 12 year wedding anniversary you don't have to do this part so we're gonna whisk this till it becomes cream so this cream is ready I'm just gonna pop it in the fridge and wait for our cake to be done in the oven our cakes are out of the oven we're just gonna slice the top layer off and then cut them in half and then we're gonna start to assemble the cake so we have them sliced up, we're just going to spray the syrup that we made earlier on. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fill the cake and then add the layers. So when we're done frosting, this is what our cake will look like. Uh, right now you'll want to just put it in the fridge for at least 20 minutes so that the icing sets. And I'm going to go ahead and do some writing on it. And then I'll show you the final product. Please guys, like, subscribe and follow my Instagram, my Facebook and my what, uh, YouTube page. Thanks. So this is our finished cake. Thanks guys for watching.